This is the reason why you must constantly repent. Because when you don't repent, your heart gets like all that stuff. Like you ever had anybody to hurt you and that wound came in there and, and for like two days straight, you just thought about them and you were angry and you felt that physical pain. So just imagine somebody's got 99 different things that they never said sorry about, never cleared up or anything. That stuff goes. See, man don't know their heart. Mm -mm. They think they do. The Bible says that the heart is deceptive. Because, see, you could, you could kick it off. Some people are strong. Yeah, some people are real, real strong. They could kick it off and you'd be like, oh, I'm good. Come on, that's the famous word. I'm good. I'm good. But then that heart goes in here. And then you find that you can't get to God. You're trying to figure out, like, God, whoa, 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 I can't touch you. Because the heart is gone in there. Now, when you repent and you confess, you pop that stuff out of there. That heart become back to God, knitted back to God. But see, this is the reason why when you get in there and you have all those sins going on, sins of the body, sins of the soul, like let's just say you may have a heart that say, I want God. But then you got this body wanting something else. I've had many people that I've coached like that. That, that need and that desire in there, that's the soul going on. So you might say, but I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. You can be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can repent and confess and get that heart right. But that soul got to be delivered. So when I talk to you about and talk to different people about you need to get delivered and uh, are you trying to stop doing this? That's that soul is fighting you. And if that heart and that spirit gets together, it can overpower that soul and pull those things out the soul and no longer will you be led by the soul. Yeah, you see, otherwise they led by the soul, they led by that stuff that's in that soul. Oh, yeah, like I, I hate our unforgiveness, or oh God, I gotta have two women at one time, I gotta have two men. That's that soul fighting. That's the soul. And you might say, Well, well how she could be spirit filled, baby. That means that heart has still got something in it, that the word and that life of God has not spiritually connected. But that's why when you feed that, clean that heart. Feed that spirit man. That spirit man gets strong and then it could shut that soul up and say you behave yourself and you speak to that word and then that soul got to shut up. That's why enlightening is so important. That's why the word is so important. When that word comes in and you receive that word and it's got power with it, it will come in, connect with the power of that Holy Ghost and that spirit. If that heart is clean, baby, that's dynamite there. Now you can address that soul. Otherwise, that soul going to still grow. It's still going to be there. Come on. You've seen, you all you have how many Christians you know? Filled with the Holy Spirit. But guess what? Certain levels of their life, what happened? Got stuff in it, huh? Yeah, that's the soul raging. That means that spirit man is not built up enough to be able to win that thing over. Because that's the ones that say, I go to church on Sunday. That's enough. I read one little scripture. Oh, it don't take all of that. That's a little bit too spiritual. That's the kind of going to have a big, that soul going to have a real soul problem. So that's the three entities there. But the greatest power is to grow the spirit man, keep the heart clean, and take that soul, repent, and manage that soul until that soul shut up. How many times people say they can't shut their mouth? I remember one, we were at a retreat. Was it a retreat? And we went there and a woman told us, because she stood up and I was getting ready to say, I said, oh, you want to be free? And she told us she liked it. I said, sit down. <laughs> I, I, no, yeah. At, didn't I tell her that? I said, sit down. I said, because you can't get delivered from something she liked. That was the soul talking out of her. That soul was louder than the spirit life. So that told me her spiritual life, she ain't as spiritual as she claims. She just look holy and spiritual, but she not. That's why sometimes when people tell me, I saw oh, you battling with what? I said, hmm, okay. Because see, people be talking, but baby, they're saying stuff. So the spiritual, the heart, and that soul. And you got to make sure the spirit man is built up. 
That's that daily word. That's that fasting. That's that repenting. That's coming against that thing, calling that thing down. You will not rule. You will not rule. That soul said, oh, you could do it. It'll be all right. Just a little bit. That's that soul talking. And that's why people don't really realize they built up all three of these things. But don't keep that heart together. If you keep that heart, that's why I see people that won't forgive people. Do you know you? that's an open door? Yeah. That heart is not clean. It's going to lie to you. Ooh, y'all didn't know it'll lie to you. It will lie to you. It will. And if, But if that spirit man is built up, it's going to have enough word. So when that soul start talking, that spirit man, them scriptures going to come out after that spirit, after that soul and say, shut up in the name of Jesus. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. See, the word will come out. That's how you can tell if people got enough word in them. How much word you got in you? That's why you do crazy stuff and have to constantly re apologize to people. You ever have anybody apologize constantly? I'm like, no, you need to just go get delivered. Your soul is loud. Who judge your soul today? How loud your soul is? 